A facelift is perhaps the most commonly associated operation with plastic or aesthetic surgery. Facelift surgery is individualised to each patient and has to take a number of components of facial ageing into account. Not only time but also our genes, solar damage and a range of other factors influence the ageing process of the face and this ageing process doesn't just affect skin, it affects the fat distribution in the face, it also affects the ligaments and supporting structures of the face and even the bony skeleton. Clearly a facelift cannot address all of these components but it is a very powerful tool to create a sustained more youthful appearance to the face. When we're younger, we have a classic heart-shaped distribution of soft tissues in the face, and with time we lose this shape as the soft tissues descend. A facelift aims to re-suspend or tighten the supporting ligamentous network system of the face, which we call the superficial musculoaponeurotic system. And in doing this, we can help to reduce the appearance of wrinkles, and we can also contour the face into a more youthful shape. It's important to note that a facelift doesn't target the skin quality and other procedures such as resurfacing may be required. Facelift Auto doesn't address other aspects of ageing such as fine lines around the mouth and therefore it is important that you have a targeted examination so that a realistic plan can be made for what can be improved surgically for you. A facelift is often combined with other procedures such as the use of anti-wrinkle injections, fillers or grafting of fat. A facelift is also commonly combined with a neck lift where the tissues of the neck are tightened and the shape of the neck is corrected to give it a more youthful appearance. Not everyone is suitable for a facelift, in particular patients who smoke or have uncontrolled high blood pressure are at significant risk for complications from facelift surgery. A facelift is an operation which requires a general anaesthetic and takes a number of hours and post-operatively you'd need to stay at least one night in a hospital. To understand what facelift surgery can offer and to develop a plan that's suitable for you if surgery is appropriate requires a thorough consultation taking into account your goals and expectations from surgery and what we can offer.